Where could she be? She gone into the forest? Exploring here. Somewhere else I haven't explored. This pumpkin is somewhat locked. There's not much you can do with the pumpkin right now. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> Here. Awesome, I'm gonna find her. I don't know why I'm looking on this deck. Nothing really use there. this way further down this way possum where are you possum little red riding hood Riding Hood. Don't need to go there yet. The Red Riding Hood. Jeez, where did he go? You rap on the treehouse door and wait a moment, but get no response. Right, that's not helping me. Hmm. Back to church, maybe. Church can help. Some assistance. Finding Grandma, Grandma's granddaughter. Finding the door unlocked and unbarred, you enter the church. Let's go do the pew. Pew. Um, this is uh, out. Um, From the pulpit, the sermon is delivered. Pray at the pulpit. Feeling humbled, there you, you go. kneel down to pray. All right. You rise again after a few moments. The monk stirs, stands, and turns to face you. All right, now he yeah, wants to talk to me. Well, let's, let's look at him. The monk is dressed in a simple ankle-length robe. A belt of thick leather is tied around his ample waist. He wears worn sandals. Let's talk to him. Maybe he can help us. Father, I go now to a place of darkness. Mm. While I am stout of heart, the path laid down before me is unclear. Mm. I seek only the knowledge that my passage be illuminated by heavenly favor and a prayer 
whatever, and they make it through. The monk gives you a reassuring smile and pats you on the shoulder. All right. He then lifts a silver cross from around his neck and nice. places it in your hands. Thank you. You are welcome, my child. You can talk? Hmm. Of course. Hmm. I thought monks were forbidden from speaking. Not all churches follow the same rules, hmm. and this church is quite unique. Really? How so? The monk just hmm. smiles placidly at you. Let's look at his at the uh, crucifix. It is a shiny silver cross dangling from a silver chain. All right. You place the silver cross and chain around your neck and wear it as a necklace. Nice. That will be handy. Save our progress as church. Let's talk to him a little bit more. One is meant to speak from a pulpit. So One is meant about this crucifix. Uh -huh. I believe you will find the cross to be of immense value. Indeed. It has come to us at a huge price. Indeed. It was expensive? I mean that it has cost us more than any value to be in possession of it. Okay. Prayers are... If I may ask... Okay. Why is it that you only open the church at dusk? Hmm. Oh, we find the late hours more favorable. But surely then you would not have many in your congregation. Yes, that is true. Talk to him some more. What do you know of the Count? Only oh. that he is a heathen, Ooh. a blasphemer. You serve God well by going there, my child. Bless you. The monk smiles at you, turns back to the altar, kneels, and resumes his prayers. Some more? The monk is in deep prayer and does not respond to your words. All right. The monk is dressed. Okay, save our progress. Nothing here so far. And nothing else here. All right. Let's go back out. Columns of pew. There is no con. There is no. Con as simple as it looks, you've never been able to extinguish candle flames with your fingertips. Wolves dart out of the dark forest and dash towards you. Oh crap. 